but I'm uh, Claire Fletcher, I'm a research fellow at Imperial College London. We were thinking about the fact that um, one in six men in the UK will get prostate cancer at some time in their lives and also the fact that obesity now impacts one in three men in the UK and both of those are increasing in their incidence. So, um, we think of that as a bit of a, a ticking time bomb, if you like, because we know that being obese increases your risk of having an aggressive type of prostate cancer. Um, and we know that the amount of fat that surrounds the prostate um, is linked to um, having more aggressive prostate cancer and a reduced response to drugs. Um, so we wanted to really get to the bottom of the molecular mechanisms that determine how fat promotes prostate cancer. We understand that prostate cancer is a very diverse disease and can be driven by a lot of factors. So although obesity um, can play an important role, this project is gonna help us to identify um, factors associated with aggressive disease that apply to lean men and overweight and obese men across the whole spectrum of the prostate cancer um, disease for better outcomes for men overall. As part of our project, what we'll be doing is working with men who are having a prostatectomy, um, so having their prostate removed for prostate cancer. And at that point, we will take some of the fat that surrounds the prostate and we'll take that back to the lab, we'll grow it in the lab, and we'll take the medium that that fat grows in and we'll look at the signals that are being released from those fat cells um, and see how those are responsible for driving um, high growth and high rates of metastasis in prostate cancer. We hope that our project is going to help us to really identify the specific markers in prostate cancer that are responsible um, for aggressive disease and whether that's in the obese context or whether that's in um, prostate cancer more generally we hope that those markers of aggressive disease that we could use those as biomarkers to identify men who are going to need more aggressive upfront treatment or more careful monitoring and that potentially we can use those um, aggressiveness signatures as sources of new treatment targets to develop drugs that can uh, better treat aggressive prostate cancer.